In this video, we'll be going over how to calculate the percent dissociation or percent ionization of a weak base. This question reads, what is the percent dissociation slash ionization of 1.0 molar NH3? We're also given that the Kb is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. The percent dissociation equation for a base is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide con at equilibrium divided by the initial concentration of the base times 100. We're given the initial concentration of the base right here, 1.0 molar. So we just need to figure out what is the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide. To do that, we're going to start by writing out a reaction between the weak base and water, because this weak base is with water. So the weak base and the water are going to react. We're going to have a double-headed arrow because this is a weak base. And bases will accept protons, so that means that the H2O will give up the H plus to the NH3. So we're going to get NH4 plus and OH minus. Then we can set up an ice table just because this reaction goes to equilibrium and not completion. The original concentration of NH3 is 1.0. Water is a liquid, so let's ignore it. And there's no mention of the, the initial concentrations of any of the products, so that'll be 0 and 0. Then this will be minus X plus x and plus x. And then the C line is just the combination of the I and C. The, the E line is the combination of the I and C line. So this is 1.0 minus x, and then this is x, and that's x. Then we just need to solve for x, and that's going to equal the equilibrium concentration of the OH minus. So to do that, we can set up the Kb expression. Kb is going to equal the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So I'll be NH4 plus times OH minus, which is just going to be X times X. So that's just X squared on top. And then the bottom is 1.0 minus X. So it's the, that's the concentration of the NH3. That's going to equal the KB value, which we're given it's equal to 1.8 times 10 to negative 5. And since the KB is small, we can ignore the minus X. So whenever the KB is about like negative 4 or smaller, then we can ignore the minus x. In most of the classes, you're going to you're gonna be able to ignore the minus x. Otherwise, you'll have to do the quadratic formula. So by ignoring the minus x, it says x squared divided by 1 equals 1.8 times 10 negative 5. Then we're going to multiply both sides by 1. And then we'll get x squared equals that. Then to solve for x, we just take the square root of both sides. And then that gives us 0.00424 it's equal to x, which is equal to the equilibrium concentration of OH minus. Now we have the equilibrium concentration OH minus, we can pl plug it in and get the percent dissociation. So that's going to equal 0 0.00424 divided by the original concentration of the base, which is 1.0, and then multiply it by 100. And that'll give us. 0.00424%. I mean, uh, 0.424%. That means that only 0.4% of the ammonia will dissociate. And that's how you calculate the percent dissociation or the percent ionization of a base. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.